Good morning, that's Jonathan Barrett with the uh, uh, morning debrief. Uh, it's Thursday, August the 26th, the current time is 7.46. Okay, um, what's happened with the Dow there? Uh, Dow's are obviously up just a little bit. We didn't have some very good uh, economic data in the states last night. Uh, durable goods orders are less than expected. Still a bit of a build, but we want a little bit more. And uh, still concerns over there in the housing data, uh, which wasn't uh, all that positive as well. So we've got a real risk as, uh, of a concern that we will slip back into a uh, recession. Uh, I guess one of the keys is we've got the Fed, uh, Fed actually coming and having a meeting um, at uh, one of the ski resorts in, in America. And also they've invited a few of the other big nations across uh, Japan as well as uh, the Euro. So uh, it's going to be quite interesting to see what they can come up with in terms of reviving the stimulus packages uh, or reviving the economies. Um, I left a little note there on uh, Facebook uh, just yesterday uh, concerning a couple of ideas. But uh, it seems to me at the moment that, of course, they're actually pushing um, the um, pushing the envelope in terms of stimulus that this will continue. Um, if they did nothing, though, um, it could be a risk aversion trade, which could see the dollar bid commodities down. And uh, what's one good way to revive economy? Cheap money and also cheap imports. Uh, so those primary imports, if they are cheap, could be quite good. Anyway, let's go through the debrief and um, have a little bit of an idea of, uh, of what's actually uh, happened out there. And um, let's just grab a few things here. That's right. As I mentioned, the, uh, the Dow was um, up just a fraction, um, holding its own there. <clears throat> the Dow was up uh, 19 points at 10,060. The S&P was up uh, 3.46, and the NASDAQ was up 17.78. Um, looking at uh, Europe, the, Europe was under pressure. The Stoke was down 27. The FTSE was off 46 and the CAC was off 40. Uh, the DAX was off 35, so a little bit uh, bearish there. Uh, local market uh, managed to hold up okay. Um, local market was up 14 points last night, up 15, 4,316. So uh, from that side of thing, uh, things looking um, okay indeed. Right, uh, let's have a look at uh, just generally what's happening out there. And um, as we do, let's look at the trader. Um, look, we had some interesting data there on crude that held things up. But that's, before we do that, let's look at the currencies. US dollar, just treading water, it appears. Um, when you look at the dollar index in itself, it's just sort of stayed in this range, 83 to 85 for some time. This form of uh, type of formation, in my mind, looks a little bit better bid than offered. Two things, it could look like a, um, a head and shoulders here. Uh, but this sort of move here suggests we might have an attempt to that top side, so let's see what happens there. A break through 8360 sends it up into new and higher range. How'd that affect the Aussie? The Aussie's at 8846, uh, just marking time. Um, did get under that last night, and we did see quite a volatile. It does seem to be that someone is on the bid uh, that dipped down to 8780. Uh, did pip that old low, um, but for some reason she, she keeps on coming back. Uh, so um, let's uh, see what... Uh, see how that unfolds, but I think it's more to do with the yield play there uh, for that Aussie. Now having a look at some of the others, uh, some of the other commodities, um, just looking at crude, we did see a bit of a bounce in crude. Uh, we have been looking at it, 72.90 is where uh, she is. Did get a good solid bounce off that 71, uh, went to 70.90, so uh, something we've been talking about in terms of a little bit of a bounce for crude, and uh, maybe this could be it. And uh, we've got some good divergence there which you can have a look at. So maybe a little bit of a bounce there for crude over the next couple of days. That was a target we had outlined some time ago, and um, looks like it's uh, really come to that level, and perhaps we might get a little bit of a bounce uh, from there. Having a look at gold, uh, gold 12.39, and um, did have quite an aggressive move last night, um, but it's just holding on to its highs, but it doesn't look all that convincing yet. So uh, let's see what happens from that front. And um, let's have a look at the SPY, and the SPY in itself. 43.14 is uh, where she closed. That's up a little bit. Uh, maybe we get a little bit of uh, support here for the market, particularly at this low. Um, I think, if anything, there, uh, we did get that low of 42, 42.60 on that break. But uh, for some reason, it seems to have bounced back. So uh, that could conclude that, in fact, we do have a little bit of intermediate low there. No need to do too much uh, panic on that front. Everything else looks uh, relatively stable. Um, obviously, rough, rough rice we continue to follow, and uh, that's at 11.24. And uh, that seems to be just consolidating at the moment, um, but it seems to be consolidating and uh, still look for, for it to trade higher. So quite happy on that front. Um, in terms of economic calendar today, uh, not a lot out there. I guess initial jobless claims and uh, the EIA natural storage change will be important, but we do have some good data in Japan. 
uh, CPI, which will be quite important just to see where that economy is moving along. But really, that's about it of any note. So uh, probably expect market uh, to um, trade within their ranges. But um, just have a look at that crude. Um, obviously, you know, we had a sort of little bit of bounce, a little bit of a draw with the data. So perhaps we are getting close to some form, a little bit of a low there. Um, at least we've got a position from where we can work from. So we can probably buy dips with the stop at 70.50. Um, and that's a highly risky trade there um, because the, the trend obviously has been down for some time. But uh, let's see how we go. Everything else is uh, pretty stable. Um, not a lot to report on the positions, uh, mainly because we're just in on the sideline uh, due to the volatility that we've seen. So that's about it from me. Hope everyone has a good day, and uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow.